Hi and welcome to this video. I just slept on 2,600 meters and today I want to show you what I carry with me on a hike like this during the colder months. Let's just start with the tent, which is the Czech Wolfskin Gossamer 1. It's a one-person tent. There's surely lighter ones out there, but I'm pretty happy with it. And when I'm out here with another person, I also have the Czech Wolfskin Eclipse 2, which is also pretty nice because you have a lot of space. And on both sides, you have this kind of entrance where you can put your backpack and your shoes. Then for the backpack, I'm using this. Shimoda Action X70, which I really like. It's a great backpack, well made and good water resistant materials. You have a lot of pockets in front here and one big one on top here. And the main reason I use this is because it is a camera backpack with these inserts. In here I keep all my cameras and electronics. I have this power bank for the phone or camera batteries. I have my DJI Mini 4 Pro controller, some ND filters and yeah another lens for the camera. And this is the core unit medium size which works perfectly fine. It's a bit small for this backpack because it's made for the Action X50, but it works. And like this, I'm able to put in more stuff up here in the main compartment. Speaking of camera gear, I have my main camera, the X-H2S, which is filming right now, attached to this PGY Tech clip um, to the shoulder strap of the backpack. And like this, I'm able to really quickly take the camera, film some stuff and put it away and not have to worry about it. When it comes to sleeping bags, I use this one for colder nights, which is from Decathlon. It has a comfort rating of minus five degrees Celsius. It works pretty well at that temperature. I also have used this during winter time at like minus 11, minus 12 degrees Celsius. It works, but you're not gonna have the best night of your life. The other sleeping bag I use is from C2 Summit, which has a comfort rating of zero degrees Celsius and is also a bit smaller and lighter. This one's pretty big and heavy. Also because it's not a down sleeping bag, it's a synthetic material. So it also should work when it's getting wet compared to a down sleeping bag. Then let's move on with another insulation material, which is the sleeping mat. This is the Exped Dura 5R. The R value stands for the insulation. Um, the higher the rating, the more insulated it is. And I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's meant for three seasons. It's a bit on the bigger end for a sleeping mat, but I'm happy to take the compromise of carrying this and having a warm place to sleep on. In this front compartment, I usually keep my two jackets for colder situations. One is a light synthetic down jacket from Patagonia, which is acting as a mid layer. And the other one mm -hmm. is from Czech Wolfskin. Bit of a heavier jacket and also a bit more insulation and protects you from light rain as well. Usually I use them when it's around zero degrees Celsius or like anywhere below five degrees. So that goes in right in front. By the way, the reason for keeping the jackets in a separate bag is so that they are a little more protected from rain or snow. For my quick access rain jacket, I use this Mackina Sack Origin. It's a pretty small packed rain jacket and that just goes in right on top here so I have quick access. For spare shirts and underwear I carry this small bag. In here I keep 
long underwear pants and some spare socks and shirt and basically all the inner layers. But most of this stuff is just for a two day or three day hike. I'm not carrying, for example, this stuff when I'm out just for one day. This also goes top here. I also carry a pair of gloves. And when there's snow, I carry these. I don't know what it's called. Those are from Black Diamond and they basically go over your trousers and your shoes to prevent any snow from getting into your shoes. Then for food and cooking, I usually carry a plastic bag with some more plastic bags inside. Reason being that the animals that are around here can't smell the food. Well, I guess they can smell it anyway, but it's not that easy for them to smell it if it's packed in multiple bags. So just some crackers and bread and some nuts in here. Some plastic bottles, also because when they're empty, they are not taking away that much space. And I reuse these, of course. Then for cooking, I use this cooker, just some propane, and this attaches right there. You put this kettle or pan on top of it and cook some water and pasta. It works great and pretty quick. Also a spoon, of course. This one's a bit big, normally I carry a smaller one. And then just some toiletries, toothpaste, toothbrush, and my contact lenses, sunscreen, of course, and some toilet paper and also a shovel. And then just some small gadgets like Swiss army knife, which is very handy. And I also like to carry some binoculars just to be able to look around and maybe spot some animals or yeah, just to explore. Then I also sometimes carry hiking poles. It makes it a bit easier to be hiking with a heavy backpack like this because you can kind of distribute your, your force and also the weight. And for snowy conditions, I bring this ice axe from Petzl. I don't know why I brought it this time. I thought maybe if there's gonna be snow, at least I have something to hold on to. And normally in the winter time, I would also bring my crampons. For the stuff I'm wearing right now, these boots are from Mindel. You have the possibility in the back to put the crampons on and in the front it just goes over your foot. I think they're pretty comfortable, a bit hard in the beginning, but that's normal with mountain boots like this. Socks, just some normal hiking or ski socks. The pants, I actually got them from Japan. It's from a brand which is called Outdoor Product and didn't know that brand before and I'm very happy with them. They also have this like this kind of net inside which prevents the pants from sticking to, to your legs when you're sweating a lot. The jacket is a real down jacket from Czech Wolfskin. Underneath the jacket I have this sweatshirt and down here another thinner shirt to take up the sweat. And last but not least on my head I have a beanie from a Swiss brand called Nikin and these are some sunglasses from Alpina which I'm also pretty happy with. And that's basically all I'm carrying on a hike like this. Of course, some things may vary depending on the season. If you want to join me on future adventures, then you can subscribe right here or watch my other videos right there. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.